What a life. I can't wait to do this all the time. This has been my dream forever. I mean, I've been on the river half my life anyway, but I mean, to actually be able to be on on it and stay on it is just those cliffs. Uh, yeah, up there's a lookout we're going to go to in another video. They're willow trees. So if you're ever catching callop, so in South Australia, we call yellow belly or golden perch callop. And a lot of people go, oh, why do you call it, you know that? Why don't you call it the yellow belly? Well, because ours aren't yellow, as I'll show you in another video. They are bright, silver, gorgeous looking things. And oh, I reckon they deserve the name callop. There's no point calling something a yellow belly if it's not a yellow belly. So yeah, if you ever want to catch callop, always go near your willow trees. And um, so see how the sun is now and you've got the shadow there. If you cast your line right at the edge of that little shallow, at the edge of the shadow, um, that's where you'll get your fish. This is so different doing this. Oh my God. So anybody that's tuning in for the first time, this is the first time for me. Uh, doing all of this so they're going to be really crappy for a little while but luckily I am um, learn quick so I'll work it all out we put the wind reduction on today too so it'll be really interesting to see how that goes oh here it goes oh my god this reminds me of when I was a kid oh it's politely quiet oh, oh I've got a ghostly kettle I like that all right. <laughs> that is so quiet. <laughs> but that's probably good. <laughs> One that was like screaming at me, I'd probably break it. There we go. Here she goes. Oh, she's going off. <laughs> oh, how cute. Okay, so what we do is we turn it off. Then we disengage the gas bottle always. Okay. Now, normally... If I was going to cook again later or whatever, I would just leave it like that, disengaged. But if I was going to um, uh, get out and put, uh, put it all in the car and pack it all away, I would absolutely take the gas bottle out every time. I would not leave it in there while I'm packing in the car and that. But to go and cook again and that, as long as you've got it disengaged, it's not hooked up to it, it's great. So the next time you want to do it, you just do the same thing. Press it down and lock it. Fire up. Let's see if it does it properly this time. Push in. Oh yeah, first pop. Awesome. I like them apples. So 25 bucks for the gas cooker, five bucks for the gas cans, 12 bucks for the kettle, two bucks each for the cups. All right, who's adding it up right now? <laughs> Pretty awesome, you know? It's a hard nut life for me. It's a hard nut life for you. Well, I reckon I should have probably put a bit less in. Oh, damn, that's going to be mine too. That's going to be hot as crap. Oh, can you smell that? Look. Oh, my God, mate. It's freaking insane. All right, so I don't know what you think about those little gas cookers, but I absolutely bloody love them. And like I said, I cook absolutely everything. Anything I would cook on a stovetop, I will absolutely cook on one of them. They're absolutely must-have, and I mean absolutely. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Well, there you have it. Nice hot chockies sitting in our undisclosed location, sucking up the fresh air. Oh, now all the clouds have gone away and I probably could have gone live. What do you know? What a beautiful day. I love this weather coming into winter. Oh, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope yourselves an awesome day. I've got another gas cooker come, one coming up. Yeah, so, okay, obviously it's a little bit different to kitchen cooking. There's a lot more prep, there's a lot more things you've got to grab and there's a lot more things that can go wrong or that can affect your, um, that can affect your filming. So definitely bear with me. I will absolutely uh, work it all out. Definitely let me like, like, definitely let me know down below if you like these uncut ones or if you like the clean cut ones where I just put it all together. 
All right, I'm gonna grab me kappa. Uh, now, I can't remember which one I put sugar in. I reckon it was that one. And I'm gonna go and have a walk out to this tree. So you can toodles off any time you want. Um, and if you just wanna hang around for a minute and have a look at this huge tree, we'll hang around. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, eh? And thanks for being heaps patient. I promise it'll be really cool one day. Now this is a big effing beautiful tree. I love trees. You know how they say hug a tree? Well, from my experience, before you hug one, make sure there's not a big ass spider sitting there ready to kiss you on the face. So they always say you should hug and thank a tree. Thanks mate. Because without them, we wouldn't be breathing. Looking up just makes me think too. When you're at a camping spot, before you sit your tents up, look up. See that branch there? No good. Beautiful, look at the size of them. Tell me mate, how long you reckon you've been here? Anyone have a guess how long this has been here? Incredible. Absolutely incredible. There's history. If that tree could talk, imagine all the stuff has seen.